Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I just wanted to pop in and make a video about um, some stuff I was reading up on last night about Future and Sierra and Russell Wilson. So let's just get right into it. Um, as we all know, Future and Sierra and um, Future and Sierra were engaged. And I believe they broke off the engagement shortly after uh, their son was born. They have, I believe he's six years old. And Sierra got with Russell Wilson, who's a quarterback for the uh, Seattle Seahawks. And they've been together for a few years. And they, they've been married for a couple, I believe. So, And they have a daughter together. So Future made some comments recently. There's some sort of documentary that came out. I don't know why Future has a documentary, but I guess... I mean, you know, I, I guess I'm trying, future is popping. So let me, let me not downplay the man, you know, anyway, he has a documentary and he was talking about the whole situation with him and Sierra and Russell Wilson. So he said a couple things. One of the things he said was, um, Sierra didn't let, didn't introduce him to uh, Russell Wilson in a timely manner. Basically, she tried to release, she tried to have them meet after all the drama went down with the custody battle and all that. Um, and he was basically saying it was too late for that. You know, the damage has been done and he didn't care to meet the dude after that. So that was one of the things he said. One of the other things he said was that Russell uh, listens to everything that Sierra tells him to. Um, and he does whatever she tells him to do, et cetera, et cetera. Then he went on to say that if one of his exes or somebody he was with was, uh, constantly talking about their ex, he wouldn't be here for it. And, you know, he have an issue with it, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, that was one of the other things that he said. And then the other thing that he said was that he wasn't being a man. So, Let's let's just address the first thing about, you know, talking about your exes while you're with somebody else. I do agree with him to a certain extent. So I think that when you're with you're in a new relationship, if you are constantly talking about your ex and what they've done, that can definitely put a damper on your current relationship. And it does kind of signify that you're still caught up in them and you still have some feelings for them. Um, and me personally, you know, um, as I probably mentioned in some of my other video or my other video, um, I have been married for almost eight years. I just had a son a few months ago and, um, I had exes before my husband, but I don't have any children with them and we, I've never been engaged prior to him. So I'll speak on kind of how I feel about how my perspective as someone who's married and who does have exes. I wouldn't be talking about my ex like that to, you know, to the world or to other people if I were in Sierra's situation. But at the same time, her situation was a little bit different than, you know, just kind of how elementary he's making it, trying to make it so simple. They have a kid together and she was making accusations that he was being negligent and that she wanted full custody and that he, you know, basically wasn't being a father. And I believe they're still in a custody battle because of this. She was saying that she wanted full custody of their son. And so that complicated things a bit, in in my opinion. Somebody in um, the public view. So people are going to ask her about her ex fiance and the person they have a child she has a child with future and she would answer the questions for the most part i think but for me i probably would have said no comment you know we're handling that in the court system not going there i'm not getting into the mud i'm not slinging mud. we're gonna handle that privately that's the way i personally would have handled it but everybody's different so i can understand where he's coming from from that that instance russell i, I obviously russell didn't have an issue with it because I mean, maybe he did and they handled that privately, but it didn't seem like he had an issue with it because when all that was going on, they both were still posting pictures on Instagram. And I think that was around the time they got married and she got pregnant with the second uh, baby or with, you know, their child that they have together. So I'm assuming he didn't have an issue with it. And if he didn't have an issue with it, then that's, that's how they want to run their, how they want to have their life and run their marriage and have their relationship. And I think that's perfectly fine. 
to each its own. But me personally, I wouldn't be running around talking about my ex like that. Even if we were in, in the court system and we was having issues with, uh, you know, child support or whatever the case is, I'm going to go file them charges, let the judges hand, handle it, and, and move forward with it. Because I'm not going to sit here and be arguing with you on social media and making subliminal posts and stuff like that. I don't do that. So that's how I feel about that. Then he said something to the effect of, he, meaning Russell, he does whatever she tells him to do. And I, he was referring to the, the kid situation. I don't know that to be true because I don't know. Obviously, I'm just speculating because I don't know these people. But I know when you're married, things are a little different. People don't understand that things operate a little different. I'm not saying that Sierra is telling Russell Wilson what to do. I think future is reaching a bit. I think I do feel like he's a little salty. I do feel like he's a little salty um, because for up until this point, he hasn't said much directly about them. It's just all been subliminal to my understanding. So I don't know why he felt the need to say something now when ain't nobody even talking about them really. Um, so I do think he's a little salty and I'm also kind of apprehensive about him commenting on anybody's marriage because, dude, you have six baby mamas. Six. And I think one of them, a uh, seventh one, is pregnant now. And, you know, you can't really talk about nobody being married and talk about how people should run their marriage when you don't even know what marriage is because you just keep impregnating these women and making babies with them and just continue to keep the cycle going on. So I don't think you uh really should be commenting on anybody marriage like that so um and people don't understand that when you know like i said i don't have any kids outside of my husband but i can understand i can identify with how russell would feel okay that's future baby future that's her child with big future and you know i'm gonna try to let her handle it the way she see fit so he could be easily mistaken. She do what he tells him to do for him. Just, you know, trying to respect her previous relationship and let her handle her business as a woman. He could be misinterpreting that. And likely he is. Russell seems to be a level headed kind of guy. I don't again, don't know these people, but I'm just saying he seems to be a, res a, a level headed guy. And he seems to kind of, you know, stay out of drum for the most part. And I don't blame him. That's future, even though he's in baby future's life, he don't want to get in the mud and get in here slinging and doing all, you know what I'm saying? Name calling all that silly stuff. So I don't blame him. Um, So save that future. That part I'm like, and then you don't understand the dynamics of marriage anyway, because when you respect your partner, instead of just impregnating them and moving on to the next person and not marrying and making an honest woman out of her, you don't have that level of respect. So you don't really understand what it's like to, you know, be married and be like, you know what? I'm going to respect her as a woman. She had a life before me. She has a whole child before me. And I'm just going to stand over here and be supportive. As long as it's not, you know, ain't nobody coming over here trying to put these hands on me or put these hands on baby future and on her, then I'm going to kind of, you know, slip in the cut, sit in the cut and just be supportive. And if she want me to jump in, if she want me to say something, then I will. But I'm going I'm to kind of let her handle it because she, she got, she got it. So then the other part is him not being a man. And I guess that kind of tied into the whole, he do whatever she tell him to do. We have, part of that is, Part of that has always, statements like this have always kind of bothered me about Russell Wilson because people just kind of assume because he's not being boastful and he's not running around yapping and running his mouth that he's not masculine enough or he's a cornball or he's a, you know, a F boy or whatever, whatever people have called him. I think that's unfair because just because somebody's not to gun toting and talking about um you know he's not a man and he's not masculine obviously he's masculine enough for sierra he's masculine enough to make a baby so he's doing something you know what i'm saying like he he's masculine enough to get that part of his life done 
just saying so we have got to get away from categorizing masculinity and men based off of things of how they act on the outside and if how many how aggressive they're being you know as black people we got to stop doing that because that ain't everybody personality you know some people are just not aggressive like that in public some people handle their business privately and when they're in public or when they're around other people they're really laid back and they really are chill and when they're around their family or whoever they may may show to be something else but you know I didn't really like those two comments that he made. Like I said, the 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 first comment he said about, you know, I wouldn't appreciate, I wouldn't want my woman going around talking about her ex. I, I agree with that to a certain extent. But saying he not a man and he do whatever, he, Russell does whatever Sierra tells him to do. I think he kind of reaching and he is sounding really bitter. <laughs> he really is and he may not be but i think he is um <laughs> but he he's making himself sound like that and and me personally i wouldn't even be i wouldn't even i would have addressed it and i probably would have said something very neutral um because you know people are gonna assume that's what the case is and i'm sure they own instagram this whole dragon culture that everybody has i'm sure they dragging him and her stands are coming after um future and probably doing all kind of stuff on his statuses and his pictures and stuff like that so anyway guys that is my that that is my thoughts on the whole situation and how you know how i would play it and how i think it should have went but hey they giving us something to talk about i mean they're giving us all this stuff to keep you know, making videos about it and talking about amongst our friends and stuff like that. So drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, if y'all are in a situ similar situation that Future and Sierra have, or you have been on the receiving end, like you were the Russell Wilson in the situation, let me know what your thoughts are and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video.